Hey guys, appreciate your time uh, checking out my YouTube channel. We'll be working through a little bit this week on my Head Coaching 101. Uh, if, you've, if you know me, I know I wrote a book a lot on uh, basic mistakes I made and things that I learned. And I'm trying to build a course off of that to help you guys that may be a younger coach or maybe having issues in one area or another, learn from maybe things that I didn't do so well or things that we have done well. And so inside of that is a bunch of these different things. So this is all out of my book, or you can get my coaching course on, on CoachTube. So today we're going to talk about fundraising, which is going to be difficult in the next couple of years, I think, unfortunately, due to what's going on right now. But I wanted to give you some basic golden rules that we use with fundraising. And just to let you know, at Southside, the last eight years, I've raised $1.5 million that have gone towards our facilities upgrading, Okay, or literally things that our, facility, our, our kids needed. So that's, this is where I'm coming from with this. And if you know much about the area I live in, it's not exactly, you know, it's not an urban area and it's not a super wealthy area. And so these are just principles we've used to be pretty successful. Okay, and I've got a lot more information on there if you want it. So first rule is this, don't use companies. Now, I'm not trying to be ugly to those companies. They got to make a living, but you do understand that Whatever fundraising company is, they're trying to make money like they're trying to help you make money. So essentially what they're serving as is a middleman. They're doing something that you could do, but they're going to do it and take the work off your plate. In return, you're going to give them a large cut of whatever you're making. Okay, And so understand that moving forward. You may still be willing to give them that because you don't put the work in. What I have found is if you're willing to put a little bit of the extra work in, it's not that hard. Or you can have maybe a coach on your staff who's good at it that can help you with this. But I'm not a real big fan, especially in the economic times we're going to have coming up, of giving any money I might possibly make to a company. I want it all to go to my kids and what we're trying to do. So number one for me, guys, and I'm not against these companies, I wish them the best of luck. I'm telling you for my personal team, I don't like giving money to other people. I like my money to go to my kids and to my facilities. So we don't use other companies uh, because I feel like I can already do that. Okay. The second rule, trade, trade, trade. And I think this is going to be big as we move forward because you're going to have some companies you deal with that, man, money is going to be tight. Okay. But they may be way more inclined to give you things you might need for your facility. So for example, a lot of schools need ATVs or they need vehicles or they need, uh, for us, when we were putting in turf, we needed a lot of different kind of just different materials there. So we traded advertising money, okay, for goods. We didn't get any actual money or cash, but we got a lot of things that our program needed. We, we got lockers, okay, we got uh, weight room equipment, okay, we got uh, stuff for our turf, uh, we've got several vehicles or lawnmowers or different things that we needed through trading, okay, that benefits that company because that's something they can afford a lot more and they're way more willing to do that. So it does benefit them. And of course it benefits your own program because these are things you need anyway. And so be open to trading when you're doing different programs, okay? The third one I'd say here is this one. Don't sell junk. We're about to come up on some economic hard times and no offense, I don't wanna buy your Yankee candle or your bubble gum, whatever, or whatever it is. I'd just rather give you money. So for us, we've gone away completely from selling these little trinkets. Uh, again, I'm not anti those trinkets. Go, good, let our cheerleaders sell it, okay? We are going to sell advertising. We're gonna sell advertising in our games. We're gonna sell advertising in the back of our shirts. We're gonna sell advertising inside of our facilities. Because what I have learned is advertising costs me nothing. It costs me nothing, okay? It's great for these companies to do it because they're obviously getting the chance to promote their program or whatever they've got to the future generation. But for you as a coach, I don't have to eat the cost of candy bars, or Dixie cups or whatever else they're selling. I don't have to eat any of that stuff. And so for me, we don't sell any of that. Because it's a lot easier for me to go to a company and say, hey, if you're gonna give us X amount of money, here's exactly where it's gonna go. It's not gonna go half to this or half to that or half to whatever. It's gonna go directly to our kids in this manner. And so as we're facing 
uncertain times economically. I think if you'll follow some of these rules, and I've got a lot more rules in that fundraising 101, or I've got some information on my website you can get uh, that maybe can help you as you kind of navigate these times, because the reality is a lot of people, I think moving forward, are gonna be more cautious. And so making the most of your money is gonna become important. Appreciate your time.